Here's a guanaco, another member of the cameloid family of the llamas, vicunas, and they're usually in small herds. Male has a few, few females. Look at me, look at me guanaco, don't keep looking that way. Got a herd of domestic llamas on the road. More interesting than a sheep block is a llama block. Good morning, y'all. Hola. Como esta? Refused to get off the road. It's like, hey, we were here first. Hola. For a llama? One yes. llama costs 500 US? Yes. Local people in Vigino meet and blessing to the female llamas and setting this color wool like flower on field. This is the representation. They can reproduce like flower on the field. Floriamiento. And they make the ceremony with coca leaf, wine. Really? Big ceremony? Yes. All the, the festivities. Are right here at this Calvary. Bienvenidos to Rainbow Valley right behind me. And I don't have to tell you why it's called Rainbow Valley. Just take a look at the different colors in the rocks. In this particular area are many farmers, semi-nomadic, who come with their herds of llamas. Llama! Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Llama, I love that word. And stay put for about a month. Then on to greener pastures. The scenery in the Atacama Desert has been nothing short but magnificent. And I really urge you to come and see it if you get a chance. Most tourists just come for three days. I'm glad we're here for six full days because it gave us a chance to do it a little more at leisure instead of cramming everything into 12 hour days. As it is most of the days sightseeing have taken at least eight hours. And if you take a look at the roads, this is a good road. Our driver left us off and we're walking into Rainbow Valley. And every single footstep we take just brings another incredible view in sight. Hello. Hola. This particular plant is known as Rika Rika, and the local people use it for stomach aches. If you take a little piece off and squish it, and then smell it, it smells sort of menthol-y. Many minerals, and that melting minerals we call magma, okay? Rocks are igneous intrusive, and what are the brown rocks, like these, these pinnacles right in front of us? And the brown is sedimentary rock, clay. Little shiny parts in this rock are tourmaline, but none of these are gem quality. The green one are igneous intrusive rock, rock when inclus with the inclusion of a tourmaline. The white line, this is a combination of uh, gypsum, common salt, and uh, potassium. And the red one is clay. Mica glistening in the sun. These big pieces of mica break very easily. It's very soft. We walked down this small little area to get behind into this bowl where the wind doesn't get to anything. Look at the colors of that green and behind it. My descriptive powers are not equal huge block of salt and when it does rain here in the Atacama Desert the raindrops left little trails grayish brown and then you've got the turquoise colors and more of a teal green Benjamin Moore paint color chart and then I should just begin rattling off every single color in the rainbow, which is why it is called Rainbow Valley. Between this and the Tachio geysers yesterday, 
It's been Mother Nature at its finest. This is a little path up and over into the main part of Rainbow Valley and where we just finished up was the back part. See, that is way up and out into the main area, which we saw first. The only reason these small little houses exist for the semi-nomads is because the government wanted to habituate this area and gave them solar panels for free, which is a big incentive. This is referred to as the Sex Valley, because if you use your uh, imagination, these rock columns look like a certain part of male anatomy. Those walls are called Pukara. Pukara means fortress. How many years ago was it used? 200 years ago. By which by the local indigenous people. Who did they protect themselves against? To feel safe only. Sometimes they are fighting. The families who live around here, they was fighting and they protecting themselves. The way it offered protection was it was a difficult climb up and when people would start climbing, the people would just throw rocks down on them. It's a little semi-nomadic lodging. Bring your llamas and spend the night. <laughs>